Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's read this problem together. Uh, they want us to order the numbers from smallest to largest. Okay. And you might notice right away we've got negative 3 times 10 to the 4th, negative 3.1 times 10 to the 3rd, and negative 9 times 10 squared. So we've got three negative numbers. And with negative numbers, um, the rule that we're going to hold on to is the following. The larger the exponent, the larger the exponent, right? And this is for scientific notation. I'll say it over here, scientific notation with negative numbers. The basic rule is, of course, that the larger the exponent, the smaller the number. And this is what I use to guide me through these kind of problems. And you might forget this rule. Um, so let's talk about how to quickly recreate it in case you forget it. So how do you recall this rule long after you forgot what you've seen in this video and long after you learned about it in class and need to figure it out? Okay, we'll take two simple examples. Always break things down to a simple example. And here, nine, negative 9 times 10 squared is a good simple example. Negative 9 times 10 squared. What is that? What's well, negative 9 times 10 times 10? And what's that? Well, negative 9 times 10 is negative 90 times another 10 is negative 900. So we're trying to figure out what happens if we increase our exponent. Does the number get bigger or smaller? So let's take negative 9 again and increase the exponent. Let's test it out. Let's see what happens, just like we would with science. Let's see what's going on. So negative 9 times 10 three times. Well, now we're going to get negative 9,000. All right, if you figure that out, see how the number becomes 10 times smaller. By smaller, I mean more negative. Let's see what this looks like on a number line. So imagine we've got, uh, let's say, 0 here. And this is negative 900. OK. Negative 9,000 is 10 times smaller. So if this is a distance of 1, negative 9,000 is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way down here right? This huge hop. So every time we increase our exponent, our number becomes 10 times smaller than it was before. And this is not perfectly the scale, of course, but I think you get the idea. So the larger the exponent, the smaller the number. With that in mind, we can quickly solve this problem. The largest exponent is 4. So negative 3 times 10 to the fourth is the smallest number. See, so it's the smallest this way, largest that way. Then we have negative 3.1 times 10 to the third in the middle, that's the middle exponent, and the smallest exponent, negative 9 times 10 squared, is our largest number. And just to confirm that, you can write them all in standard form. Let's write it down here. So we have negative 3 times 10 to the fourth. That would be negative 30,000, right, if we multiply negative 3 by 10 four times. And then we have negative 3 times 10, uh, sorry, negative 3.1 times 10 to the third, that would get us negative 3,100, right? And we said already negative 9 times 10 squared is negative 900. So the number that's the most negative is the smallest, which we established, negative 3 times 10 to the fourth, then negative 3,100, and finally negative 900. It's the most positive number. It's the largest, right? So we go from smallest to largest in negatives with this idea that the larger the exponent, the smaller the number. And of course, with positives, the reverse is true. The larger the exponent, the larger the number. Thanks.